Researchers at Oak Ridge National Laboratory achieved industry firsts in a series of tests on their dynamic wireless charging system. The successful test results mark milestones in a two-year plan to take the in-motion vehicle charging technology out of the lab and onto America's roadways. Wireless power charging of electric vehicles is a flexible, safe, convenient, and fully autonomous charging option. In-motion charging, which allows drivers to charge their vehicles while they're driving, is recognized by the U.S. Department of Energy as an enabling technology for mass-scale electrified transportation. According to the ORNL concept for in-motion wireless charging, durable power transfer coils are embedded in the highway, DC power distribution buried in the roadway median, and grid connections at various intervals. A receiver, or secondary coil, mounted on a vehicle's chassis transfers electricity from the roadway coils to the battery, charging as it goes. The scenario was simulated in tests at ORNL's National Transportation Research Center. The goal was to demonstrate the efficiency and effectiveness of dynamic wireless charging, but not just on the vehicle side. ORNL researchers were also looking at the grid side and testing means of lessening the potential impact of wireless charging on the electric grid. A concern of utility providers, for example, is the effect of power pulsations and intermittent grid loading that would likely occur in large-scale dynamic charging deployment. For their experiments, ORNL researchers outfitted a WPT-ready vehicle with a light pole. Its purpose was to show the level of power capture that occurred as the vehicle was driven across the primary coils. On the grid side, a second light pole was affixed to a power inverter to show the level of power that was being delivered by the grid. In the first test, coil sequencing was crisp. Energy was rapidly delivered and absorbed. Primary coils, as the vehicles moved over them, were energized in little over a millisecond and de-energized in less. The light poles on both the vehicle and the roadside charger indicated pulsing power pulsing power from the grid, and pulsing power into the battery. In the next test, a carbon ultracapacitor was introduced to the vehicle to address the pulsing power issue. Manufactured by Maxwell Technologies, the carbon ultracapacitor serves as a local energy storage unit that captures the pulsing power from the grid and smooths the power flow to the battery pack. The vehicle's light pole indicated that the device was operating as intended. No pulse power was going to the battery. Only the power flow on the grid side remained pulsing. To address that issue, a lithium capacitor storage unit was then employed on the roadway side power inverter. For ORNL researchers and their collaborators at Electro Standards Laboratory, the experiment was an industry first. The ultracapacitor on the vehicle was detached to test only the effectiveness of the lithium capacitor to smoothen power drawn from the grid. On the first run, the light pole in the grid side was blue, indicating power was being drawn from the grid. It remained in the blue even as the vehicle traveled over the roadway coils absorbing power pulsations. That shows that the capacitor is supplying the charging energy while it maintains a steady flow from the grid. The final test was yet another industry first. This time, both the carbon ultracapacitor and the lithium capacitor storage were employed. Again, the results exceeded expectations. The light poles on the grid side and the vehicle remained in the blue, with only the slightest flicker, indicating yeah. that the local storage devices were doing their job, Good, eliminating the pulsing power from the grid and the pulsing power into the vehicle battery. More in-depth data collected from the tests will be analyzed and reported in professional journals. But the initial results and the industry first achieved demonstrate that wireless power transfer is well on its way to becoming a viable option for America's energy and transportation future.